morning students welcome back in the last session we discussed about different types of order and also we found the si units of zero order reaction first order reaction and second order reaction right so that is based on the formula rate is equal to k into the respective molar concentration of the reactants with its products right so order of the reaction as you all know there are uh, three types of order that is zero order reaction first order reaction and second order reaction so as i told you order may be zero fraction decimal or a whole number and even it may be a maximum number but more than 3 it is unlikely not possible but if it is then then the slowest step of the mechanism overall order of the reaction will depend on the slowest step of the mechanism so maximum we will be having as a zero first or second order so on what basis we will say this is a first order reaction this is a second order reaction and this is zero order reaction so that is order of the reaction is a summation of the coefficients of the reactants which are coming as a power of the concentration okay so a power galinda namu add madidre adu order agi namge sigutte for example then what do you mean by zero order reaction hagadre zero molar concentration of the reactant participate maatta idana no the reaction the order of a reaction is not depending upon the concentration of the reactant it is independent of the concentration of the reactant in that for example let us see the decomposition of ammonia okay so decomposition of ammonia in the presence of platinum as a catalyst which provides the surface area for the reaction so decompose other than what we will get that is nitrogen and hydrogen so if you want to balance this we will get uh, yes so here if you have got to write the rate expression for this reaction it would be rate is equal to k which is rate constant into molar concentration of the reactant so as a power we have to write 2 but in this reaction this is a special case where whatever number of moles that we are going to take is not depending upon its rate the rate of the reaction get depend on the law so that's why we will write it as zero the catalyst pump we are using will influence the rate of the reaction uh, already in the last session i told you these powers may not be it is always need not to be equal to the coefficients what we used to balance the equation adu idu vande aagirbeku ante illa it may be same or it may be different uh, that's why in the last uh, class example alli nanu a small letter a plus b by u bandu x plus y anta bardidu because always a plus b will not be equal to x plus y here you can observe that practically experimentally determined the concept is this one that is order of the reaction so theoretically if you want to see this the order will be 2 but practically experimentally at the concentration may depend on it only so that's why this example comes under zero order reaction similarly if you want to see the first order reaction here zero order reaction is depend upon the zeroth power of the molar concentration of the reactant so adhe rite first order reaction example let us see the so first order reaction the decomposition of this compound will take that is no2 plus half o okay so this is a decomposition of nitrogen pentoxide so rate of the reaction if you want to write k is equal to into o by so in the power we write one that is uh, no number we have used here Uh, both uh, in order to balance the equation as well as experimentally practically while decomposing only one molar concentration of the reactant will be uh, involved in the process or chemical reaction therefore this comes under first order reaction which depends upon the first power only one uh, reactant is involved so that's why it is one first order similarly for second order if you want to write the uh, example so decomposition of hydrogen ion by to form hydrogen and iodine so rate of the reaction will be equal to k into hi to the power 2 because practically also 
two moles of HI, two molecules of hydrogen iodide will be involved in the uh, reaction. Okay. So let us see. And uh, yesterday we derived uh, uh, SI units. SI unit of zero order is moles per meter per second. Whereas the first order is per second, which is independent of the uh, molar concentration of the reactant unit ones. Okay. And the second order is per mole meter per second. So these are the respective SI units of different types of. Uh, first order, second order as well as zero order reaction. So let us see what is mol molecularity which is the another important uh, parameter to determine the rate of the reaction. Okay, molecularity and order these two are the important parameters to determine the or to understand the rate of the reaction. Okay, molecularity is a bit different from order. See, order is experimentally determined one. So, then, uh, experimentally, how do you think is to molecules utilize again after. And it is the summation of the coefficients of the reactants which are involved in the chemical reactions. Whereas, molecularity is the number of reactants or the number of chemical compounds which are going to simultaneously collide in the chemical reaction. Uh, from the collision theory you understood in the last year that reactants have to collide properly and in the same direction and they have to exchange their ions or they have to exchange their electrons by sharing electrons by collision they are going to create a new product right so in the molecularity simultaneously yes to molecules collide on it right? so that will decide the molecularity of the reaction so molecularity uh, can be classified into different types like a unimolecular reaction Bimolecular reaction, trimolecular reaction, and so on. But after three, it is not possible to get the molecularity. It will come under different steps. What we call it as a mechanism. Okay, so that I'll tell you later. So these are the common types of molecularity. So you can see uni means one, and bi means two, whereas tri means three. So this decide the molecularity of the reaction. For example, uh, the decomposition of carbon dioxide we can take that is carbon and oxygen. So, if you want to see this equation in the uh, left to right direction, the molecules which are utilized in the chemical reaction is only one. Therefore, this example comes under unimolecular reaction. Whereas, if you consider the reaction from that side that is right to left, Two molecules are involved in the reaction. Both carbon and oxygen are going to collide simultaneously to create a new compound, new molecule called carbon dioxide. So then it will become bimolecular reaction. Or you can also take the decomposition of hydrogen iodide to produce hydrogen and iodine. So here you can observe there are two molecules involved in the uh, reaction. Or if you consider from that uh, direction also, right to left, it is uh, called as bimolecular only because from both the direction, two molecules are involved. Okay. Trimolecular reaction that is, you can take nitric oxide plus uh, oxygen that is NO2 uh, will be formed. So here, if you consider uh, this, that is. Uh, Okay, so here how many molecules are involved in the reaction? That is 2 plus 1, 3. 3 will be involved, that is trimolecular reaction. 3 molecules are simultaneously colliding in the uh, reaction to produce a new product. So, after this, if you consider the uh, photosynthesis process, for example, okay, which is a complicative reaction. That is carbon dioxide will be utilized and the water will be utilized in the presence of sunlight. It gives C6H1O6 that is glucose and it also produces oxygen. If you want to balance this equation, then what will you get? Okay. Okay. Right. So this is the equation. Here if you observe 6 plus 6, there are 
12 molecules. Is it possible to get 12 molecules at a time are uh, going to collide and to produce a product? No, it is impossible. This is a heavy uh, molecule, uh, number of molecules which cannot simultaneously collide in a particular single particular reaction. So this, this type of process which looks like complicative, uh, which are more than prime molecule, they will be proceeded in the mechanism, stepwise reactions, what they call as mechanism. So we may be having more than two steps or three steps or four steps like a mechanism. The slowest step will decide the molecularity of the reaction. This reaction may have three steps. Say for example, first and third are the fastest steps and second is the slowest step. The molecularity uh, depends on the slowest step. How many molecules are simultaneously colliding in the slowest step? Those many molecularity can be considered for such type of reaction. Okay. So molecularity overall uh, the concept in other words, molecularity in the way we do it. It is an elementary process. Elementary means you can uh, say that which cannot be simplified again, which happens in a single step. Simultaneously within a fraction of a minute, uh, single step reaction and elementary reaction. A elementary reaction only are the two molecules react So that will decide the molecularity of the reaction. Okay.